I'm Katie Van Lunkhuizen with American Village Builders. We are in Oakland Hills condominiums. We're in one of two condominiums we're showing in the Parade of Homes. This is the Waterford floor plan. This house is full of fantastic features and finishes and has a lot of on-trend items that people will be seeing at this year's parade. It's got granite countertops, uh, stainless steel appliances, an appliance package that showcases a commercial look. We have deco tile, a custom master suite with a ceramic tile shower, quartz countertops, and a deco tile band in the shower. We're also seeing some hand scraped wide board hickory floors in this home. In this home, we're seeing a custom look achieved by some varying of materials. The perimeter of the kitchen is an antique white with a chocolate glaze, and it's actually a different style of cabinet than the island or the desk. The island and the custom-built desk are both in an espresso stain that matches the custom-built mantle and the doors to the study. We're seeing a lot of that mix of materials to establish a really custom look in uh, today's homes. Today's condo buyer is far different than people expect. We have a varying uh, amount of ages and people in different situations. It is not just one age or um, one group of people. It's really a lifestyle choice because you no longer have to um, just take care of the exterior of your home. You can travel, you can you know, spend your time doing things you like to do. We are backing up to the Gordon Act State Forest here. So when you're looking out the windows, we actually see the state forest land and um, it's never planned to be built on and so people get to really look at uh, nature and enjoy the natural private location that we have here at Oakland Hills. This home features two workspaces. We're seeing that a lot as a trend as people start to work from home more. Um, so this desk here we call a command center. It's maybe intended for someone who works from home or just wants a space to write bills, go online, use an iPad. This home also features more of the traditional office. And that is off the foyer here. We're seeing this completely wired for internet use. A lot of people do some work from home. It's got tall, eight foot tall, uh, stained French doors that offer some privacy while still getting a lot of natural light. So you're really seeing some ways that you can use paint um, and trim to really set your home apart and give it some character. A lot of these refrigerators now offer a uh, control center on the refrigerator. Um, when you're looking at something like this, this one offers a photo album feature where you can actually put in um, an information card and upload your photos. You could also um, put in a message. A lot of people keep a grocery list or set um, a message between uh, members of the family. Um, an important feature because so many children seem to love this so much, you can lock it and uh, make sure that children are not playing with it. And then even set um, accent lighting, different lighting for different times of day. So you're really seeing um, some advanced uh, different features with refrigerators now. We also use a commercial range and a hood in this kitchen, and we're seeing that feature more and more. Um, it's a slide-in gas range, um, a Kenmore appliance, and the hood is all vented to the exterior and offers different speeds and lighting schemes. It's definitely uh, something that would benefit the at-home chef. We've been in the parade for many, many years, and this is not my first experience with the parade. Um, we have actually been in the parade for um, a long time, and it's always a very exciting event. We show many homes this year. American Village Builders is showing six unique homes, and they're all built completely differently to different styles and specifications. So a person attending the parade can be one of many to get new ideas for their home, um, to look at what today's trends include, and I think they'll be really surprised and impressed with what they see. 